Because the ophthalmologic examination can give so much valuable information about a patient's well-being, it's a standard diagnostic procedure that practitioners perform routinely throughout their careers. Correct use of the ophthalmoscope can make the examination quick, easy, and effective time after time. Here's how to do it. First, you may want to dim the room lights in order to conduct a successful examination of the fundus. To examine the right eye, sit or stand at the patient's right side. Turn the ophthalmoscope on and rotate the rheostat to the desired light output. Most practitioners will start with the high-intensity halogen lamp at full illumination, then lower it for patient comfort. Select zero on the illuminated lens disc and start with the small aperture. With your right hand, hold the ophthalmoscope vertically in front of your right eye with your index finger on the lens dial so you can change lenses easily. Ask the patient to look straight ahead at a distant object as you position the ophthalmoscope about 6 inches and 25 degrees to the right of the patient and direct the light beam into the pupil. A red reflex should appear as you look through the pupil. Rest your left hand on the patient's forehead and hold the upper lid of the eye near the eyelashes with your thumb. Keep the reflex in view as you slowly move toward the patient. The optic disc should come into view when you are about 2 inches away. Rotate lenses until the optic disc is focused clearly. The hyperopic or far-sighted eye requires more plus or green numbered lenses for clear focus of the fundus. The myopic or nearsighted eye requires minus or red numbered lenses for clear focus. Examine the disc for clarity of outline, color, elevation and condition of the vessels. Follow each vessel as far to the periphery as you can. Ask your patient to look up so you can examine the superior retina. Look down so you can examine the inferior retina. Look temporally so you can examine the temporal retina. And look nasally so you can examine the nasal retina. If you have a problem getting a good view of the retina because light is being reflected back into your eye from the patient's cornea, you're encountering a condition known as corneal reflection. The easiest way to minimize this condition in order to get a better view is to use an ophthalmoscope with a crossed linear polarizing filter, which reduces corneal reflection by 99%. To find the macula, focus on the disc, then move the light about two disc diameters temporally. You may also want to ask the patient to look at the light of the ophthalmoscope, which will automatically place the macula in full view. Many practitioners choose to use the red free filter at this stage to facilitate viewing of the center of the macula. Following and practicing these steps will help you examine your patients more thoroughly and detect many pathologies manifested in the retina. Finally, to examine the left eye, just repeat the procedure we just outlined. As with any procedure, the more you use your ophthalmoscope, the more proficient you'll become at performing this exam.